Hi, I'm Richard Cesano, uh, an elder law attorney in Paulsville, Washington, and I would like to tell you uh, the secrets that go with uh, under observation versus being a patient at the hospital. So this is an event, um, kind of goes along with the book I wrote, Accidental Safari. If you end up in the emergency room, uh, some things you should know. So if you're over 65 and you're on Medicare, Medicare is your primary health insurance, and you go to the emergency room, you're gonna run some tests, right, to see why you're there, to see what the issue is. And the test may come back obviously positive, these things are going on, and they can treat you, in which case they will admit you into the hospital. Or the, or the test could come back with no results, and there's, they can't seem to figure out that there's anything wrong, the tests show nothing, in which case they'll help you leave, or thank you for coming, and ask you to leave, or call the cab for you and help you leave. Uh, unfortunately, there's a big gray area between those two sections. And if you fall in the gray area and they're unable to determine really what the issue is, but they can't let you go because of liability reasons, perhaps they would keep you there under observation and not as a patient. So it's important that you have uh, someone who loves you, who's there, who can find out why you're not being admitted uh, they're not admitting you because they can't check enough boxes to make sure you would, that the Medicare you're, you're on would pay for your care, uh, but uh, you don't want to be excluded if it's possible that you could qualify for Medicare to pay the bill. <clears throat> so what difference does it make? Well, if you are in the hospital as a patient for three days and then you go to rehab in a rehab facility, Medicare will pay 100% for your care. If you are only under observation in the hospital and then go to rehab, Medicare will not pay. So that one difference of how you're characterized or classified at the hospital would determine whether or not Medicare will pay for the 100% for the first 20 days of your rehab and then all but a $770 a day of the next 80 days. So you could have uh, lose out on a whole uh, or a considerable amount of Medicaid payment for those rehab uh, therapies that you would be otherwise eligible for.